Hi guys, Mark here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today we're making a towel holder out of rope. The first thing that we need for our project is a thick piece of rope. Various materials can be used. Manila works great since it is usually quite stiff. In our case, we're going to be using hemp. I highly recommend a diameter of at least three quarters of an inch or even better a full inch. As far as the length of your rope goes, 6 feet is enough for a ring with 5 inches in inner diameter. For a ring 6 inches in inner diameter, use 7 feet of rope. Your piece of rope usually has three strands in it, which is enough for three rings. Take one of your strands out of your rope. Tape up the two ends of your rope to prevent them from fraying. To form our ring, we tie a grommet. A grommet is essentially a rope ring. Fold your strand in half. At the middle point, we form our ring by passing one end over the other. So let's see. This is our ring. The right end, so the one that's at the bottom here, wraps around the other end, comes up here. We tighten up by twisting our end, then we wrap it around again. When we come up, we again twist. Wrap around. Come up. Twist. Wrap around. We want a nice looking lay for our ring. Tighten up. Wrap around. Come up. Tighten up. Wrap around. When you reach the other end here, we leave the right end, we pick up the left one, so this one here, and we do pretty much the same thing. Since this is going to be a three-stranded rope, our left end is going to fill out every third spot, so one, two, three, so here. We tighten it up, position it to the third spot. One, two, three. Again here, tighten up, position to the third spot. Tighten up. Position to the third spot. Tighten up. Position. You really want to tighten up 
your strand so that you get the stiffest ring that you can make. When your two ends meet up, it's time to secure them, in my case I'm going to bind them. To begin binding my two ends into place, I'm going to take a piece of thread about 4 feet long. I'm going to tie a constrictor knot over both of my ends here. So, an X shape, come up on the left of the standing end, pass over it, then under the X towards the top. Pull on both of your ends, tightening up the constrictor knot. I secure my ring a bit further by doing a bit of hatching. I'm going to place my ring between my legs to hold it in place. I'm going to take the short end, place it alongside my ring like this. With the long end, I'm going to be doing a bit of hatching. I make a bite towards the right side, with the end, I pass around through my bite like this, forming a hatch. Tighten up, bringing your hatch all the way to the center of the constrictor knot here. Tighten up firmly, repeat. So again, a bite, come around through the bite. Place the hatch next to the previous one, here, at the center of the constrictor knot. Tighten up firmly, repeat a number of times. After a short distance, take the two ends, tie them together using a reef knot. So, simply tie them together. Trim the ends. Optionally, melt them.
This way, this part is fairly secure. Next, we remove these two ends. We continue by attaching our rope onto a cleat. This one is a 6 inch version and we're going to attach it with the help of some nice looking hard laid cord. This cord here has a diameter of about an eighth of an inch and it is about 7 feet long. To attach your ring onto the cleat, turn both around Then attach your rope onto both using a clove hitch. Tighten up a bit, turn your project around. So, your clove hatch creates two wrapping turns here at the front. Tighten up a bit further, place your standing end in between the ring and the cleat. Take your working hand, start wrapping around. So simply add a number of turns. Let's say something like this. Come up in between the cleat and the ring. So up here, to the top, then do two horizontal wrapper downs. Coming across, down, on the other side, in between the ring and the cleat, up again on the right, down on the left. Up on the right side, tighten up your horizontal turns. Then take your working hand, pass it under the bottom cord, Tighten up firmly. Then pass over both of your horizontal turns. So over two. Then come up. Top down. Like this. Tighten up.
Then all we need to do is hide the two ends out of sight. So to do this, I'm going to take the working hand and to repeat the same thing here at the back. So under the bottom wrapping turn, over both, under the top wrapping turn. I'm going to tighten up again. Then I'm going to take both of my ends and simply wrap them around the back a few times. Trim the ends. You are done. As the final finishing touch, I'm going to burn off any stray fibers. So guys, that's our tutorial on the nautical themed towel holder. Thank you very much for joining me today. Do consider joining me in my future videos as well.